up guys it's chris today we are doing another three meta builds and this time with billy and as always i'll be leaving timestamps to each build down below for build number one we have good guy billy starting with the spike boots to turn 45 percent sharper and dad's boots to turn 30 percent sharper for the perks we have pain resonance to knock 25 percent off generators dead man switch to block generators survivors let go of from embrace to block generators after each survivor is hooked and no way out to block the gates in the end game for up to 60 seconds this build is super strong and rewards you for playing like a nice guy but enough talking about it and let's get right into it okay here we go guys with meta build number one and this is a great build if any of you guys out there really like to play super nice you know by the survivor rule book kind of uh going for spreading out all your hooks and stuff and you know letting people do their thing also the turning add-ons are super fun to use i mean look at that turning I can turn so easily there. It's not even funny. Oh, a little lag there going on. Oh, looks like we found our Yin Jin. Very nice pal to get out of the way right away. Looks like she's a sprint burster. Oh, so close. Very, very close. Just going to break this up right away too. Looks like she's kind of the type to just kind of feed us some pallets. But I do want to head out of here real quick. And we're going to go check on our little gens over here look at this turning bro so unreal it's awesome the mobility is so good there oh my bad but she tried to dodge could have played that a whole lot better my warm-up billiam game there you go nancy but that is going to be down number one we're going to be able to pick her up and get her right to a scourge hook right away and uh they shouldn't know our perks immediately maybe somebody's got saboteur or something but we'll get dead man switch blocking up a gen just no nothing i guess they weren't touching any of them right away i'm gonna go right for these scratch marks but grim embrace will also tell us uh, all the gems that they were on oh oh my goodness it will also tell us all the gems that they were on i'm gonna play around this pellet just a little bit looks like she's not whoa too focused on what i'm doing not really looking behind her too much Nice, didn't take the window. Good play there. Thought I could mind game him a little bit. Looks like he's playing it pretty weird. What we can always do is take our overdrive speed and... Oh, whoa. I thought I could curve that maybe a little bit. And check out what's going on back over here. Ooh. Look how quick we can catch up to her. Oh my goodness. I mean, there's just no getting away from that speed on the saw. New Billy is so much fun. Seriously, if any of you guys haven't tried him since he's been reworked and stuff, you have to. I mean, absolutely. I think that Yin Jin's really going to be down to just give us a ton of pallets. So if we can find her for a little bit and get some of these other way. This middle area is like a nightmare for the saw, but that's about it. Uh, if we can find her a little bit and just get her to give us some more of these. Uh, okay. Not exactly sure what happened there. I I'd be really, really happy with that. Let's see what we can do. I'm going to try and leave that Nancy alone. I just, with the stealthing and stuff, it makes it kind of difficult to go for other people. Need them to pop out of the woodwork. Rumbrace and DMS have a great synergy, and obviously Pain Riz does. Whoa, hello, uh, as well. Pain Riz and DMS together are just fantastic. You know, blowing up the gin and then blocking it for 30 seconds is... Obviously pretty sweet. Not going for that hook. They are saboing, but definitely doesn't matter to me. Um, I'm not sure what's going through his head here. I'm going to try my best to go for saws only this game. But uh, we'll see what happens. You absolutely do not have to do something like that in your games. Boom. There you go, Renato. And I am actually going to wait for the Grim Embracer stuff to go away so we can get that pain res. Oh, the crouch stopped me from getting that, I think. That little exploit. Boom. I'll probably let her get picked up, but extra pressure while we're waiting for the gins to unblock and stuff. Never a bad thing. Sitting on our pallet here. Come on, buddy. Get him to a pain res, too. This will be our third one. Also, third stack of Grim Embrace. And then all we have to do is find Nick. I haven't seen it all yet, which is a little bit interesting. Um, should be two of them here, unless the Nancy did have Unbreakable. Wouldn't put it past the Nancy. Oh, really my bad there. Really bad for there. I was trying to break the foul, actually, while, like, kind of cornering him. There we go. 
Uh, whoa, where did he go? There you go. Let's go a little wide here in case he tries to dodge. Something you want to do with Billy if you're going for a little snipe, like a mid-range snipe like that, is go wide off the loop. Uh, very rare will survivor just keep hugging a wall or something if, if they know you're coming at them. This is our last stack of Pain Res and Drum Brace and No Way Out. All three, actually. I didn't mention No Way Out. It's just there for insurance, you know, because I'm going to be trying to play pretty nice, so there's a good chance they could end up getting the gins done, even through the slowdown. Looks like this guy's not having too much fun. So, you know what? We'll just take that kill. That's still nice in my eyes, somebody not really having the best time, and I'm letting them go. I think that's really nice. <laughs> Sit back here, see if anybody's near the hook still. Nothing. There's our Nancy. I feel like that pallet's gonna go down pretty quick. Oh, didn't go for the window. It was a bit of an oddball. Is that an instant vault? Oh, really bad curve. Seems like somebody who would run live the way she plays, I think. Just kinda running around from pallet to pallet. Definitely windows, right? Wow. Yeah, there's no way to predict the... Wow, so it's literally just C pallet, drop pallet, keep holding W, it looks like. Very close. Come here, Nance. Yeah, she's interesting, for sure. We're going to take that hook, though. And as you can see, meta build number one. Uh, you know, as long as you're not committing too hard at the start, maybe get some pallets out of the way. Find somebody on the gens and... Just get your pressure rolling off the score tricks and everything. I mean, it is... Wow, I don't know what we put up there. It is nasty how much pressure you can just generate uh, on this killer with a build like this. Even playing as nice as we did, I give that Nancy uh, uh, a whole lot of chances there, I think, to get something good going. But we'll see if we can find these other couple here real quick, and I will see you guys then. There's our Nicholas. Got there pretty quick. That's probably going down. There we go, Nicholas. And that is good game for him. If you're willing to fight an engine, maybe not. But either way, I'm pretty happy with him only being able to get one gen done with this build. It's something you guys could definitely pull off in a lot of your games um, as well. Because Billy right now feels awesome. See if we can find... Oh, there goes the gen. I will... Probably cut real quick to me getting over to that. Eh, why not? I'll just keep talking to you guys for a second here. See if we don't see any scratch marks, which we do. And she's injured. So I should be able to hear her fairly easily if she was there. Look how fast we're moving. Oh my goodness. Lightspeed Billy. Oh, that was so close. I will try to get the saw here for you guys. Stick to the theme of Saw only? Why not? Them two only, Billy, with a build like this. It's a blast. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed build number one. Build number two is pretty interesting, too, so stick around for that. Come in right now. For build number two, we have Demon King Billy, starting with the low pro chance to chainsaw sprint through pallets and discarded air filter to make overdrive decay much slower. For the perks, we have Corrupt to block three gens at the start of the game, Deadlock to block the gen with the most progress each time one is completed, Bamboozle to block the windows we vault, and Enduring to make pallet stuns last much shorter. This build buffs Billy and also gives him some really nice slowdown, so I definitely encourage you guys to try this one out, but enough talking about it and let's get into game number two. All right, guys meta build number two father campbell's chapel a very good survivor map and this one is a little meaner this one will allow you to do uh whatever you really want to do on billiam uh you do not have to play nice and in fact the build almost encourages you not to i'm gonna try to still play as nice as i can here and uh give everybody a fair shake but you absolutely do not have to with a build like this nice little hit there right off the bat uh maybe we'll be able to get it down otherwise if we don't get it too quick, I am going to be, uh, oops, my bad, feathered that way too hard. Overdrive messes with me sometimes a little bit still. Forgive me. Boom! Uh, that should be an M1 coming up. Yeah, you could definitely just take a hit like that and a couple pallets and then, uh, move on. Keep the corrupt up and stuff like that, but we're gonna take this down right away. Get it rolling. Corrupt just kind of gives you that early time that uh, a lot of killers can really use for... People not just hop on gens right off their spawn. But uh, no turning add-ons here, so our mobility's not quite as clean. 
is, uh, as with the boots and everything. Still really nice, though. Let's see if we can find anybody around here. In our overdrive charged up just a little. Huh. They're playing it pretty stealthy here, it looks like. I'm not too sure what they're up to. But, no problem. This build can, oops, let us brute force really hard. Uh, just go for one person. Like, with the enduring, run through pallets, bamboos to block up the windows. Low pro to kind of chunk through stuff as well. Uh, looks like this Meghead's probably going to be giving us this pallet pretty quick. Boom! Nice little hit on her. She does have a toolbox. Is that live? Looked like it to me. Catch up really quick. And just cancel. Nice little M1 coming up. Nice thing, too, is this build really does feel like... I probably mentioned this when I was going over the build. Um... It build really does feel like a survivor build where you just throw on the perks and they just really help you out pretty much no matter what. Uh, you don't really have to earn them or anything. Very survivor build-esque. Uh, and it is really, really solid. Again, like I said, really good for chase. Uh, solid slowdown, you know. Uh, really good for dealing with the pallets and resources of the map a little bit easier instead of just having people just yam everything they see. They actually have to kind of think about it. We have live. Boom! Nice little snipe. They do have a few toolboxes here, it looks like. Oh! I heard somebody walk in there and didn't even pay attention. That could have been a flashlight for sure. I don't know. That could have been really stupid by me. Okay. Uh, Father Campbell's Chapel has one of the strongest main buildings in the entire game. So, one thing to just note. I mean, it's not really Billy specific. Just in the game in general, it's one of the strongest map, or strongest main buildings in the game. So it's one of those things where you can really do well to uh, avoid it. Um, if, if you want to win, <laughs> you know, maybe take a hit and just get out of there real quick, stuff like that. But it is usually insanely good. I know, Maurice, I know. The windows and everything, the setups are just so gross, you know, almost play themselves. See if we can't get some free pressure going on heading back here. I do have Bambizzle. Maybe we can catch the Cheryl off guard this way. Start revving the saw right away. Oh, that's perfectly set up for them. Wow. That's something you can't really mess up. Well, she found a way. Boom. Got our Cheryl hook as well. So now Meg's death hook. We got one on... Uh, Jake, and I think this is Cheryl's second. Yeah, because we downed her right at the start pretty quick. And we'll get her tossed up there. But yeah, remember, using low pro, you will get a decent amount of injuries with your chainsaw. Oops, my bad. So going for uh, M1s and stuff, not bad at all. Even if people are healthy, you know, you can just take the M1, get a little low pro hit later on when they're trying to drop a pallet or something. Not bad at all. Oh, here's our toolbox, Jake. Oh, so close. Enduring right there lets us just blast through this pallet pretty much. Very nice. And uh, even if you don't connect to, look at that. Look how much closer we get to him. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, he's just getting nowhere. Now it's an instant down. Almost better than the injury, I would say. Because then he just gets no distance at all. Very, very nice. Yeah, not a lot of info in this build. Also, one thing to keep in mind, so you do have to kind of play off your game sense and stuff like that. But, um, you know, if you are looking for more info-oriented stuff, stay tuned for the next build, because that'll definitely help you out there. Boom! She did have Off the Record, which is a super common, insanely strong survivor perk that uh, you definitely got to watch out for. Oh, that was so close. Well, we got our Felix here. We'll be a little bit nice. Oh, damn. We'll be a little bit nice and try to down him here. Uh, we absolutely do not have to do that. Nice. Almost got that. But I think he should have taken that window. I don't think he's got anything really to work with here. Nice dodge. That was really good timing. Right when I was going for the curve. Does he get in the locker? Yes, he does. We'll get that yoinky. Uh, you saw I was kind of letting the chainsaw go right away because the only thing he had to work with there was the, uh, the locker. Figured he'd just go for it. You guys will get the hang of that too, playing Billy a little more. When you see people, uh, they don't have anything but the locker to work with. That's what they're heading for. Nothing back here. Okay. 
There's somebody, our Jake. Oh my god! I just basically phased through. I think we can get this curve here. Oh no, not quite. His reactions are really strange. Oh, this is actually... With that hook, I don't know if this is actually possible. Boom! Oh, that tree's so perfect, too! Nice one! Wow, everything there was, like, great for him. I don't know what that, that actually was. Could have just taken an M1 for sure. But he's out of resources here. And I can't remember if this is actually his last uh, hook. Thought he'd go for the locker there. But... What I do know is that Chase was nice and simple. Yeah, I think it. I think it is his last one. The only one we haven't yeah. too hooked is uh, yeah. Felix, I believe. Yeah. There you go, buddy. Ah! Very, very nice. So yeah, again, like I said, with Deadlock kind of giving you that passive slowdown and stuff, you can absolutely tunnel your little heart out with a build like this, taking care of all the pallets and stuff, and uh, the windows, just blocking them up, making Chase just impossible for the survivors. So the chase won't last too long and get somebody out of the game. And Deadlock's just not letting the whole, the rest of the three just slam everything right away. Which is a, a really nice combo. I'm not really showing that off too much. Like I said, I was going to try and play pretty nice like we did here. And, um, you know, but it, it is something to keep in mind. I'm just showing you that you don't have to. It's just an option. You know, especially if you're wind streaking or anything like that. Uh, definitely not a bad play. Somebody here? I don't know. Definitely saw a bird in the area. Let's see if I can take a peek at Shaq. Oh, yeah. So here we go. I'll show you a little bit of what I was talking about. So there's Bamboozle blocking the window. I know he's not going to hit that. But if he does want to go for the Shaq pallet, I would be able to low pro right through it. And if he doesn't, he just dies. Boom. Because that window is unusable. That's just stuff you can do in, like, pretty much any tile in the game. It's not just Shaq, but... Obviously, something like this definitely does help with Shaq as well. There you go, Felix. And maybe we'll be able to find the Meg. Maybe not. Either way, we basically 12 took them at, 12 hooked them at this point. Playing like a saint. And only got two gens done. I mean, that's just how good the build is. And Billy on top of it. Very, very solid killer as well. Here we go. Pride Rocks, another common one. Main, very common too. I will definitely take that. There's our Meg head. All right, that looks like it's going to wrap up the second meta build. Okay, you can go. Wait, I changed my mind. I forgot you brought the toolbox. You made me realize that you're evil. She's probably not evil. She just wanted to win. I did too, but I did win. You didn't. So that's the difference between me and you. You would have teabagged me. Don't even lie to me, Megan. But I'll see you guys in the final meta build coming up here. Also, some very cool survivors here just throwing up the GGs. And uh, I got nothing but respect for that. You know, I see plenty of salt all the time. Barely get GGs on Killer, if I'm totally honest. So I got to just show some of the awesome stuff in DVD too. Very, very wholesome survivors here. For the third and final build, we have Aura God Billy. Starting off with clogged intake so our overdrive lasts longer. And the off-brand motor oil to get into overdrive much faster. For the perks, we have lethal to see the survivors at the start of the game. Barbecue to see ores of survivors after we hook somebody. Pop to kick 30% current progress off gen after hooking and eruption to blow up gems we kicked after downing survivors this build has tons of info and is super aggressive allowing you to keep constant pressure from start to finish but enough talking about it and let's get into the final game for the third and final meta build pale rose let's go baby yep super aggressive build really high tempo wow uh they could not have had better spawns here uh to be honest super spread out and just i mean but this looks like it's going to be a pretty free down. Lethal giving us all the info in the world we can want. I would assume somebody here in this situation would hop into a locker. But this guy didn't. I stopped revving there. Uh, my fault. Totally. I feel like any, any rational person in a situation like that would have just hopped right in. But fair enough. I'll get out of there. But yeah. This one can help you keep the pressure going right off the bat. With all the info it gives you. And uh, pretty solid slowdown. I just really, I've never seen somebody just in a complete dead zone like that just ignore the only thing they had to work with. 
Wow, this generator is going to make this a nightmare. I think I'm just going to go for... Whoa, they got really fast toolboxes and stuff, don't they? Let's take that M1 right away. Why not? Wow, that was super quick. Oh, very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's our little Gen Rush toolbox. We like to not think on Survivor, don't we? We just want to do Gens quick and get the fuck out. Who likes thinking on Survivor? That's not the point of the roll. Boom! All right, let's take that right away. We'll be able to have a pop and eruption ready to go. I'm not sure what Gen Yui would go to uh, off spawn there. But maybe Barbecue's going to give us the info we need, so... Uh, look, if somebody just still crouching right up there. Here we go. So I will gladly throw... Oh, look at this. Our a little rat player with the toolbox. Definitely not trying to showcase any kind of skill there when we're just trying to do gins fast. That tells me everything I need to know. Boom! Eruption as well on that gin, which is awesome. If anybody was on it, we'd also get ore reading of them. Uh, that's a nice little bonus of eruption. But now that we got started, this pressure could be almost nonstop. Almost, almost. It looks like she's going to probably, yep, waste Shack Pallet at four gens. Very nice. That is a clear with a toolbox, so we know what to expect. Any toolbox gamers, uh, you guys probably know by now if you play a lot of killer, are generally some of the worst ones in BPD, simply because they are trying to get the gens done fast for a reason. They cannot really uh, handle DBD without the gens flying because they're just not no good in chase. Obviously, they need to speed it up a little bit, and that's one way to do it really easily. Don't have to think at all to get that done. Awesome. This gen's getting shredded. Oh, this guy's got off the record, but he was healing. So I'm just going to sprint right through this, actually. And pop the saw. There we go. Shred that up right away. Can we catch her? Boom. Look at this. She's just feeding me. Feed me. Nice! Okay, that'll be two hooks on her. Uh, maybe we'll be able to snag one of these little fellas. Oh, man, these gen hitboxes are massive. That's going to be a tough one. Almost makes you wish you had bamboos a lot, huh? Whoa, what's going on? Oh, I was lagging bad. That was a free hit. She was playing that horribly. Wow, that was so so unlucky. That lag could be killer, dude. Killer, killer. Totally carried them there. Wow. Well, it'll show you a little bit of what we can do with a bit of stuff not going quite our way with the eruption and everything. I think, anyway. There's an eruption on that, Jen. One sad thing about eruption now, though, is you do really want to be getting value out of it with the pop, because... Otherwise, it's almost not worth the kick. It's losing two of your eight damages on a gen uh, for just kicking it and getting an eruption going on it. It's a little bit sad, but, you know, that's where we're at in DVD right now. They're pretty much trying to <laughs> make sure any any strategies killers have are just dealt with. Almost feels that way anyway. There's our Claire with the rat toolbox. And, um... We could go for her. Probably rather just go for the Ada, to be honest. Let's get this pop on it. Why not? Pop eruption. And zoom back on over. I would like to kick this one, actually. Just to get eruption going on it. Yeah, don't need to. This is a little too perfect with that gen there, but she messed up pretty terribly, so looks pretty good to me. Boom! There's one eruption. And I will be able to get Pop back up to head on over there. A lot, a lot of aura reading. Uh, also, something to keep in mind with all the aura reading from eruption and stuff. Never a bad idea to start slugging when you get that info, especially if you get the map for it. This one's pretty great for them, to be honest, just with all the junk and everything everywhere and the really insane gen spread but still something to probably keep in mind oh yeah this guy does not want to show off any kind of skill sprint first and a toolbox 
scream skill, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, pop eruption getting applied to this one. Bada bing, bada boom. You guys get the picture by now uh, with those two perks, right? Kicking a gen after we hook somebody, getting a free little down. Not too bad. See other sort of scratch marks there. Ada is death hook. If we could get our eyes on her. There she is. Oh, she put herself in not a great spot, didn't she? That'll do. Okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure they already pre-yammed that. No, no. Still up somehow. Dang. I thought I took care of that for some reason. Oh, no. I remember now. This is one of those setups where we just got to run straight through the pallet. It's just insanely strong for Survivor. Pretty much no thought required. She's not even looking behind her, so I'm going to see if I can drop down here and get a little weird mind game thing. And that'll be Eruption over there again. Quick little hook means she is big dead. Full aura reading value coming up, I hope. You know, you can hope. <laughs> There we go. Boom! Like a freight train, huh? <laughs> Billy is kind of like a freight train, isn't he? Just zooming in, ready to kill. Go take a peek at that gen in the middle real quick. Oh, yeah, we have full info. Somebody on that far gen and somebody all the way in that back corner. Look at this. Oh, this looks fantastic, doesn't it? Good timing. Not bad. Didn't expect that from her. Let's see if we can catch Claire kind of zooming in for the save or anything. Oh, yeah. There's her scratch marks. Can I cut that off at all? Man, there's just so much stuff around here. Making it really tough. Oh, she's going to have that. Dude, what is this lag? The stuff we got to deal with for you guys, right? But I'll do it. I will gladly do it. Man, that leg's really made this game a nightmare. Oh, yeah, wait. Okay, I'll head back to this gen now, because that's the only one they can be working on. It didn't have enough progress to pop or anything. I just want to make sure we get that kill. Dang. Uh, no bambizzle here. Don't really have to think too much in the TLs on this map. You could, they're basically, you get wall hacks on them as a survivor. Uh, because they're just completely see-through. As you can see there. Dang, and you got the locker set up, obviously, to just block any chance of you getting a hit. Pretty amazing stuff. Doesn't really get any better for a TL, uh, than these maps. Maybe we can get a little mind game, though? Yep. Felt pretty pointless to charge the saw, to be honest. Wow, she's just running this TL, not trying to make it to anything better. Very interesting. The, I think these are actually the strongest TLs in the game. You just don't even have to have any clue what you're doing. You just see right through them. Basically like you had actual wall hacks uh, on the survivor end. So no mind games or anything, even though they're supposed to be a 50-50 tile, they just removed the 50-50. I don't know why they did that. No clue. There's our Claire! Come here! Sprint burst tweak. Me run fast! Oh, Windows Gamer 2, so just <laughs> run to yellow with a toolbox and sprint burst. How do you fail, right? Well, I guess like this. We did pretty good here. Figured it out in the end. Pretty, pretty tough to, you know, have a bad game with a setup like that. But we did pull it off. Wow, isn't this guy strange? How could you ever figure out what someone like that's thinking? It's almost like nothing. Just praying. Like they said, Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> that's crazy. That'll do it, Claire. Jesus, take the wheel. I will see you guys in the next video, though. I hope you enjoyed this one. These three builds are fantastic and this, this map was not good, so this one did really, really well, and lots of info, again, really aggressive. But, uh, yeah, try them out. Let me know what you guys think and which one was your favorite, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.